Hi guys, it's Josephine from Joe's Jersey Journals. Bet you didn't know that. Well, today I thought maybe I should come on and say a hello to you and let you see who I am. It's Josephine. It's crazy, crazy Joe. I am first apologize because I'm not um, dolled up. I don't have any makeup on, but I just, I'm so excited. I didn't want to wait. So... Um, after posting my um, last video, which was that big, gigantic vintage journal thing with 200 and something pages, I've been getting a... Oh, I got a boo-boo. I just realized that. Okay. ADHD, just so you know. Um, you guys always hear my voice, and I've told you a hundred times, I'm crazy. I'm like a flibbity-gibbet. I'm very hyper in the mouth, and I think that my nerves and my hyperness personality comes across when I when I upload videos. But um, I thought maybe if you saw my face, you'd understand why. Because this girl's a little crazy. This grandma is a little crazy. Oh, I lost something. Um, but I wanted to make a quick short video just to say thank you so so much. My channel went from 50 subscribers to now it's up to 67 yeah 67 subscribers in like four days three days how many days has it been i don't know i can't remember i just can't um i can't i just can't contain the excitement because i'm really 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 excited and i'm i appreciate it so much i wish you guys could see like I don't know what it does to me because I never in a million years thought I would be making YouTube videos. I never even thought in a million years that I was going to be making journals for, you know, for an Etsy shop, no less, because I told you in some other videos, um, I've been a crafter for maybe the last 30 years, but it was always like, um, crocheting. I was big on crocheting since I was young, but I really, really started like getting into crocheting as I got older and started staying home more. Um, then I started making, I used to collect sea glass, like a lot of sea glass when I was younger. So I had containers of sea glass and um, I decided to start figuring out how to make jewelry out of sea glass. And I did, and it lasted for like a year. And then I developed carpal tunnel from holding the tools, I guess, to make jewelry. Didn't work out too good. Went back to crocheting because crocheting, thank God, didn't bother my hands till this day knock on some wood it doesn't bother my hands um and then the junk journaling just like fell into my lap by accident I'm gonna make this short I'm gonna try and make this short my youngest son had a diary because he likes to journal um my grandmother again you know the whole reason behind that um journal that I made was in, an inspiration from what I remember um as a young girl what my my grandmother used to do um, but making journals actually happened because my son wanted me to fix his diary. It was falling apart. Long story short, um, I went on YouTube. I Googled how to uh, refurbish, I guess I think it was. It's like, what, two and a half now, almost three years? <laughs> anyway, I got to do yoga. I don't know why I'm so excited. I just, I'm so excited. I can't tell you. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Making the journals. Back to making journals. So I made him, but anyway, so I figured out how to redo his, fix his journal. It was a multimedia kind of a cover with a, like a vintage door. I watched this video, did it. But then what happened in my feed started coming. I used, I would get, you know how um your feed gets, I guess, recommendations of videos to watch. I'm a mess. Oh. Um, so a video, I don't remember who. I can't remember for the life of me who. My brain's really going. Um, but it was a completed journal. It, so it was a flip through. It was a, it was a flip through of a junk journal completed. I fell in love. I thought it was beautiful. And then I did started the research. And then I was like, wait a minute, I have lots of paper and it led from you know just making simple ones to 
Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. Don't look at my messy room. Um, it went from making simple, simple like white, plain paper journals, which I just made like for myself and for the family. And I says, you know what? I'm gonna try because I then I saw coffee dying and tea dying and avocado dying and. For somebody like me, that's not good. I try, honestly, to stay off YouTube because it's just too much. It's just too much. It's that much has happened. I can't even tell you. I'm going to have to make a whole story. But then I said, I'm going to make a junk journal for myself. And then I'm going to make a real one. So I took an old book cover. I painted it with some... I had some acrylic paint I didn't use. There was no gesso in my life at the time. And I just gutted the book and I turned it into a, my first, my first, my first ever junk journal. So I don't think I've ever shared this with anybody before. <laughs> can you see? Yes, you can see. This is my very first. So I got to figure out how long it's been. It's been two and a half years or three years. This was the first one I've ever made. And it's <laughs> it doesn't stay together but it just you know it's my first one I had to keep it and I'm not big on writing in journals but when I, after I made this one then junk journaling really really took off for me it was a little addictive you know nobody warned me you guys should have told me this is not a good thing Joe because you're gonna get really sunk into this it's gonna overwhelm you because you're gonna have all these crazy ideas and I'm not a very artist uh, crafty kind of a person but there's somebody that comes out of me somebody, says, somebody takes over me is something takes over me when I say I'm gonna make this kind of journal or I'm gonna do this kind of journal and I've learned in the beginning, I didn't even realize someone told me on Facebook, oh, you have a style. I have a style. I didn't think I had a style. I didn't, I knew nothing, nothing. So apparently I was told very early on that I have a vintage style. I didn't even know that I liked vintage. I didn't even know. I just didn't know. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but it's just terrible. <laughs> it's just, it's loopy, it's loose, it's, 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 oh my God, it's so loose. Look, look at this, look at this. my first ever belly band. It's a piece of, uh, what is that? It's blessed, uh, bless you, because my son's sneezing on the truth. It was a piece of, um, whatever. Anyway, this happens to me a lot, and, um, I'm not gonna make fun of dementia because it's not funny I've had several people in my family that have had dementia but I'm starting to feel like something is not right because I can't remember nothing and I everybody says, oh it's age it's your menopause it's this it's that it feels like something else but because I can't just I just can't that's why I try especially when I'm making journals to write down everything and where I've gotten things because I can't I just can't remember it's the flippity gibbet brain I think so it's just random pages. And I know that the first kit I bought, uh, I don't remember from who, but it was called Grandma's Attics. It might be Porch Prince, but it was called Grandma's Attic. Everything, if you notice, everything leads back to Grandma. Her name was Esther. That woman was something else. She was 106 and she used to wear, I used to call, I used to call them cha-cha heels. She used to wear these thick heels and all your hair was chaka chaka which she would walk she was like four foot six maybe she was a tiny little peanut thing and oh i just have so many good memories of her just look at the horrible this is horrible i never even opened this i just because i had no idea what i was doing i just threw things together there's like four signatures didn't know how to so sew in signature <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing but look at it. It's vintage grungy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So even in my very, very first, this is this kind of thing that you write on and I used it as a tab. <laughs> and I don't know. I just didn't know what I was doing. Look at how terrible. <laughs> but this is her. And look at, I, I stenciled. I learned how to make my own 
paste, my own texture paste, and I made the book, and if you look at the, the stencil I used, it was upside down. <laughs> I used it upside down. Look at the spine. The spine came out cute, I think, this one. But that's her. That's supposed to be my grandmother. So she was she was an inspiration very early on, and I didn't even realize it. Esther was something else. Man, could she cook 106. I just can I only hope that I, I'm blessed with 106 because that's just crazy, but amazing crazy. So anyway, back to the reason why I'm making this video and showing you my mug is because at 60, 67 subscribers, gotta look at the notes again, 67 subscribers, okay. Yeah, 67 subscribers, I was at 50 in three days. So now I... I'm very big on giving gifts, uh, giving back. I'm not too good at the receiving end of it, but I want to give you guys something for, for doing this and following me and all the compliments and all the inspiration. And it just, I can't tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's those little things in life that get me. It's the man boys. But, so, this is what I'm thinking. I would like to put together some kind of a thank you package gift at 67 subscribers. When I make it to 70, gotta make it challenging. When I make it to 75, I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. At 75 subscribers. I'm going to, I don't, I can't do the random YouTube picker thing, but I'm going to put everybody's name on a piece of paper because I'm a little OCD. So I'm going to put everybody's name on a piece of paper. I will record me mixing it and then pulling out a winner. And hopefully I could pronounce the name of the person. I've never seen it done like that because again, I just use my cell phone. That's all I have. And I apologize for my videos when they're not clear or, or they don't, the, the audio is not that great, but it, you got to do what, what, with what you got. And unfortunately, that's what I got. So we are at 66 subscribers. Okay. Yes. I'm half Italian, part Italian, Cuban, German, Venezuelan, and Italian. And so I do this a lot. 67 subscribers. When I hit 75, I'm going to give something away. I don't know what. I have no idea. I will keep you posted. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to make something. I'm going to make something big. I don't know what. I'm going to give you some stuff. I'm going to give you vintage stuff. I'm going to give you a journal. I'm going to give you some materials, fabrics, laces, appliques. I'm just going to fill it up. Tickets, tags, grungy. Yes. You got to. Oh, by the way, you have to really like vintage grunge because it's all going to be vintage grungy. Um, let me know also if you have any um, recommendations. Like, this is what you're going to do. When I post that video of uh, the, 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 the giveaway, I want to know in those comments what you like. Do you like more pastel -y or pink or blank white um what's your style i just want to know what your style whether you make journals or whether you're a crafter or you're just somebody like i was in the beginning that used to like watching those videos i just want to know like who's following me who are you who are you you know that joe is a little off the wall and i am when i was younger they wanted to put me on ritalin and my mom said no so now that i'm an old lady I'm still hyper in the mouth. I've switched to decaf coffee, but obviously it's it's a mental thing. It's not a drinky liquid thing. I'm very hyper. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm that person that you either like or you don't like. Sorry. Again, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm just so happy and so excited and I'm so grateful to you guys. Oh, I wish I could hug you. Squeeze your faces and pinch your cheeks. Thank you so much. And I will keep you posted. I am actually working on, that I will upload hopefully tomorrow. I'm working on another craft with me. Let's make, because you know what? Doing flip throughs is getting boring. I like doing my flip throughs, 
but I want to, I want to connect and I want to make stuff and I want you to see my, my off the wall process for stuff because I'm crazy. And if you can handle cray cray, then this is where you want to be because Joe's nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Bless you all. Uh, I don't know what, how do, how do I close out? Thank you so much. You're, you guys are great. You made, you've made my week, my month, my year to see my channel go from 50 to 67. It's not, it's not a big deal for some people, but it's a big deal for me that the fact that people are actually following me, I can't even, I can't even, oof, I just, oh, anyway, thank you guys so much. And now I'm going to push, use my finger to stop recording. <laughs> Have a great weekend.